I am grateful to be able to uh, call us uh, uh, to a time of worship through prayer. Uh, it is uh, without a doubt uh, a time in our country, a time in our city, uh, our county, and even our churches where we can say emphatically we need prayer. Oh, how we need prayer. I won't tell you, we need prayer perhaps, I don't know of another time when prayer was so much needed than it is now. And again, I want to thank Sister Rose Sanders and members of our prayer ministry for giving leadership uh, each and every year and, and praying for the pastor all the time. How we thank God for having praying people. Uh, I'm reminded of that passage where the Lord went to the Mount of Transfiguration. And you remember a man brought his son to be healed. And uh, Jesus and several of his disciples had ascended to the top of the mountain. And uh, the disciples who were left, the man brought him there. And they couldn't do anything. They couldn't help him. And uh, the man was disappointed. Uh, the crowd started making fun of him. And uh, mocking them. And then Jesus descends from the mountain. He and his other disciples, and what, 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 what's, what's going on? And they tell him, and the man says right away, I brought my son. My son needed healing, and I brought him. And your disciples couldn't do anything. L listen to him say. He said, I won't tell you why the church couldn't do anything. He said, the, the church couldn't help him. Couldn't help him. And, uh, and the man now, his faith is wounded. And he finally says through that conversation with the Lord, he says, well, if you can do anything, will you help him? <laughs> my God, my God. The, the church can mess up people's faith. Yes, because the church can be impotent. Yes, yes. We need prayer for the church today. I'm going to tell you, whatever else we pray for, let's pray for the church. My God, my God. And Jesus said to him, listen, it's not whether or not I can do it. It's whether or not you can believe it. <laughs> my, God, my God, my God. And then the man says to him, Lord, I won't tell you what. I believe, but help my unbelief. And here's the part. They went in the house and the disciples came up to Jesus because Jesus healed the boy. And they said, now, Lord, how come we couldn't do that? <laughs> how come we couldn't do that? And here's what Jesus said to them. He said, this kind. This kind, th this is one of those this kind. This kind goes out only through prayer and fasting. And let me tell you, he here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, let me tell you why you all couldn't do it, why the church couldn't do it. He says, number one, you couldn't do it because you ignored prayer. <laughs> God, God, God Almighty, you ignored prayer. That's why you couldn't do it. Much of what we can't get done today, it's because we don't pray. My God Almighty. And let me tell you lastly, not only did you ignore prayer, but here's the problem. Whenever you ignore prayer, you impede your power. There it is. <laughs> there it is. And these persons have come to pray today. We're praying all of America because we know if you don't pray, you don't have no power. <laughs> My God Almighty. And we need some power today. In fact, we need Pentecostal power today in America. Bless his holy name. And I thank God for these persons who've come to pray and come to pray and uh, glad you've tuned in with us i pray god's blessings upon you and remember if you ignore prayer you impede your power praise his holy name i bless the name of jesus martin luther said i say lastly preachers always close more than once but i said lastly, martin luther said he had so much to do he said i've got so much to do today until i don't know how i'm gonna get it done if I don't spend at least three hours in prayer. Isn't that, isn't that something? He's going to spend three hours in prayer. Most of us got so much time. We got so many things to do until we can't spend one moment in prayer. I won't tell you. 
If you ignore prayer, you ignore your power. Thank God these persons have come to pray. And uh, Sister Lena Guyton, who is a tremendous prayer warrior and a fine member of our church and fine member of the committee, or the minister of prayer, I should say, in our church. And uh, I'm going to now give way and ask uh, Sister Lena Guyton to come, and she's going to give us direction how I thank God for her and for her witness and testimony and what a prayer warrior she is. Sister Lena, come, please. Good morning. I am Lena Guyton with the prayer team ministry here at New Hope Baptist Church. On behalf of our esteemed pastor, the Reverend Dr. Jerry Young, and the entire prayer team ministry, we are delighted to have you celebrate National Day of Prayer with us. Each year, the first Thursday in May is set aside to celebrate National Day of Prayer, where persons can come together individually or collectively to pray and meditate. This day has a great significance for us to seek the wisdom of God when faced with critical decisions. We are richly blessed to be able to come together in united prayer with so many powerful prayer warriors. Our National Day of Prayer theme this year is, Lord, pour out your love, life, and liberty. And it's taken from 2 Corinthians 3.17, which states, the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. As followers of the Most High God, we must come together periodically to share his message of love, life, and liberty for all of his children. At this critical time in our history, nothing but nothing is more important than prayer. Let us not forget God's promise to us in 2 Corinthians 7:14. If my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. As we pray here today, we are calling on the God we know who can heal the sick, protect the saints, comfort the hurting, find the lost, mend the broken, bless the poor, clothe the naked, feed the hungry, and show us miraculous signs and wonders. The National Day of Prayer president said it best when she said, it is our prayer today and throughout 2021 that the Spirit of God pour out through us across America to fill our lives, our families, our churches, our workplace, our educational system, the military, the government, arts, entertainment, and the media with biblical, spirit-filled people who believe in love, life, and liberty for all of God's children. We look forward to seeing the hand of God move across our nation in response to our prayers here today. We thank you for sharing this time with us as we seek God's face and lay our petitions at his feet.
I have said earlier, if you ignore prayer, you impede your power. Jehoshaphat, when he was confronted with seemingly overwhelming odds against him, he and his people, here's what he did. He called on the people and he called on them to pray. He called everybody together and said, hey, listen, we need to have a prayer meeting because this is one of those, this kind, it won't come out without prayer. Let me ask us, brothers and sisters, those of you who've come, would you come now and let us pray? And those of you who are at home, would you pray silently while they're praying? Let's pray. Let's pray. In fact, I know you've seen it. I know you've read it. Push. Pray until something happens. Let us come now and let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, Father God, Father God, I come before you just as I am. And Father, I come thanking you for your darling son Jesus, who died upon the cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. And Father, I come thanking you for another day's journey, a day that's been coming since the beginning of time. And Father, I come thanking you for being so good to us. You've been so good to us. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. If I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't thank you enough. Now, Father, I ask that if it be thy will, that you would bless New Hope Baptist Church. Bless every member. Come into our homes and our hearts and heal the sick and comfort the bereaved. Pour out unto us a portion of your joy, that we might have strength. For your word says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now, Father, I ask that you would bless this man of God, Reverend Dr. Jerry Young, his wife and family. Throw your loving arms around them. Hold them and protect them as they come and go. Bless Pastor from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Bless Pastor with a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit. Bless Pastor with the gift of longevity that he may live a long life. Let him down in the deep wells of your holy word that he may continue to rightfully divide your holy word. Now, Father, I ask that you bless the deacon board that they might be strong to stand beside Pastor and support him when he make decisions pertaining to the church. And I be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In the name of your beloved son, Jesus, I ask these blessings. Amen. Father, we thank you for this National Day of Prayer. Father, we pray mightily for our elected leaders, our president, our vice president, our governor, our lieutenant governor, our speaker of the house, we pray, Lord, for our, our Congress, our U.S. Senators, our U.S. Representatives. We pray, Lord, for our state representatives and our state senators. We pray for our county board of supervisors and our mayors across this land and country. Lord, we pray that we're all called by your name. And then we accept the challenge and the responsibility of providing leadership to your people. Father, we realize that our services carry an enormous burden, but you said in your word that you would not put more on us than what we could bear. So Father, we are petitioning your throne of mercy for strength, wisdom, and grace this day. Lord, we pray that you will guide our thoughts, our actions with honesty, integrity in all situations. Lord God, we ask you to just give each of us the strength, the courage to work together as Republicans and Democrats and independents, but most of all as Christians to be just and fair in our lawmaking capacity. 
Lord, we pray that you will boldly lead us, Lord, where that we will be bound together at our hearts in ways that we cannot imagine, Lord. Let us, Lord, declare as David did when he said, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Lord, we believe what you said. What is impossible for man is possible for you. Now, Lord, you know the status of our nation, our state, and our city. We have killing on all hands. Law enforcement, black on black crime, poverty, the voting rights are being restricted. But Lord, we know you are in control. And Lord, as long as you're in control, we know that everything is going to be all right but we must submit ourselves to you. And so Lord, I pray this morning that you would bless again our elected leaders across this land and country. Not just those that are elected, but those that are appointed, that they may render judgment according to your will. Lord, we need you, and we can't do without you. This is our prayer, Lord, and we ask you, Lord, to just bless America, bless Mississippi, bless the city of Jackson, bless us all, Lord, for it is in our name we do pray, amen. Prayer for education and the family. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? Psalm 11.3. It is also written in Psalm 107, 27 through 29. When they were at their wits' end, they cry unto the Lord in their troubles. He brings them out of their distresses. He makes the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We bow down and humble ourselves expressly to acknowledge how great thou art. We praise you and we lift up your holy name. Dear Master, thank you for creating the greatest social unit on earth, the family. Thank you for all of your wonderful blessings, and especially the gift of knowledge and development. How great it is that these gifts are obtainable and can be enhanced through education. We are thankful for teachers, administrators, and workers at all levels in the field of education. Individuals who faithfully strive to educate and train their students with care, love, and support. Oh great God, as our educational systems are disrupted by conflicts, emergencies, natural natural disasters, and even a pandemic. Some students are unable to maintain a proper level of success because of shortfalls. My cry is, Lord, bless as only you can. Precious Savior, we pray for leaders to demonstrate that truth really does matter and education is critical. 
Give us teachers with a godly inspiration to be the best role models for children who look up to them. We pray that our colleges and universities will somehow even become centers for revival and renewed faith in God. Lord, we pray for safety, morally sound instruction, and wholesome learning environments. Dear Master, please help us to seek your will for our lives. May we focus on working to strengthen our families and give our children hope and a moral foundation for the future. May our desire be to serve you, and in so doing, serve one another. Moreover, we ask that you would bless our pastor, the entire New Hope Church family, our church school, and this program. We offer this prayer in the mighty matchless, marvelous, and magnificent name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, I come to your throne in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, blessing you with all that is within me. Forgive me for my sins of omission and commission as I forgive others. You are God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father of all mercies. Thank you for loading us this morning with daily benefits for all of our needs. Thank you for hearing my prayer today for businesses and the media. We thank you for sustaining us during the pandemic for the stimulus reliefs and unemployment benefits that have been provided for those who have suffered job and other losses. Most of all, Father God, we thank you for commending your love toward us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And now whoever calls on his name shall be saved. Father God, we pray that employers and employees will not be consumed by the ways of the world to gain success, but in everything look to you from whom our help comes. We thank you for the positive growth in the recovery of our economy. Please move all business leaders, large and small, to embrace and encourage strong ethics and economic equality in the workplace. And Lord, inspire all to work as working unto you so they will experience your bountiful blessings. Father God, now we pray that those who work in media communicate and publish only what is truthful and not fake, embellished or unfairly biased. Lead them to uncover evil, expose corruption, and highlight negligence in all areas of our country. Father God, we pray that you grant wisdom to us, users of the media, to distinguish truth from falsehood and opinions from facts. And when we participate in social media, lead us in your way and that we will remember evil communication, corrupt good manners, and all that we post and read will bring glory to your holy and righteous name and will be for our good. It is in the precious and perfect name, Father God, I pray to you in Jesus. Amen. You made a way. Don't know why you did it, but you made a way. And I'm standing here only because you made You move mountains You cause walls to fall with your power Create miracles There is nothing 
That's impossible And I'm standing here Only because you made You made a way Don't know why you did it But you made a way And I'm standing here And you're standing there And we're standing here Only because you made a way Now Father God it is in the mighty and the marvelous Magnificent name of Jesus Christ My Lord, my Savior and my King That I come before you today God We give you praise, we give you honor Lord we love you, we exalt you now Lord, there's nobody like you nowhere. You're second to none. You're God, and you're God all by yourself. Bless you today, and we thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to be the head and not the tail above and not beneath the lenders and not the borrowers. We blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going out, blessed coming in. God, we thank you now. And Lord, we continue to lift our praises to you and thank you that you are our defender and our protection. You've already won the battle and we declare victory today in Jesus' name. We thank you now. We thank you that you have allowed us to speak life into situations, Lord, that have come to bring grief, that has come to kill, steal, and destroy Lord we thank you though that you prevail over all we bless you we thank you now that you continue to reign you reign over evil you reign over racism you reign over injustice and yet God you reign over COVID-19 God we thank you so much we're in a safe place in your presence. God, we bless you and thank you for the power of your presence. We thank you so much for your love. God, I love you. Lord, we praise you and we trust you. And we worship you today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you all so very much for joining in with us today. I thank all of these persons um, who gathered here to pray and to literally knock at the very door of heaven. Uh, thank you all so very much. I pray God's blessings upon each of you. And I'll tell you this, the prayers of the righteous avail it much. I promise you that. And God still answers prayer. And let me tell you this. Somebody said, well, God didn't answer my prayer. Hear me. God answers every prayer. Sometimes he says yes, sometimes he says no, and sometimes he says wait a while. But he always answers our prayers. Thank you all for praying. God bless you all. Now do me a favor. Don't quit playing, praying. Don't stop praying. Keep on praying. Pray continuously, will you? Thank you again for being here. Thank the committee once again. Thank you again, Sister Rose. Thank all of you all. How I bless God for you. Now, God, as we ask you to dismiss us from this worship and praise and prayer service, please do not dismiss us from your presence. And oh God, I pray even now that our lives will represent one constant and consistent prayer. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Dismiss us now from this experience, but never from your presence. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask and give you thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs>